Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Fatima Qureshi with you guys, and today I will be talking about the mask that I have been discussing in my previous videos on dry eyes as well as on the Chilesian video. So a mask is used to uh, take care of the meibomian gland dysfunction. The meibomian glands come from under the lids, they get clogged, they don't produce enough uh, mybum secretion, which causes the tears from evaporating because this is like an oily secretion that prevents the tears from evaporating into the atmosphere. So we need these masks to open up these clogged meibomian glands. So that's one function. And then the mask can also be used uh, to decrease the size um, of the chalazian because the chalazian also comes from under the lid and um, with the help of the mask if used appropriately in the correct way then it can shrink the size of the chalazian before i start cutting it out um, patients have asked me on the channel um, in the comment section uh, what kind of mask is needed because i always tell you about the mask right like use the mask six seven times a day for the chalazian use the mask for my womian gland dysfunction for dry eye patients and i wanted to show it to you because there are so many different kinds of masks that are sold over the counter, but I wanted to make sure you use the right one. We do sell them in some clinics also, but I wanted to make a video and show it to you. So this video is focused uh, purely on the mask, okay? So it will shrink the size of the chalazian. I do treat the chalazian initially with the help of these warm compresses. With the help of this uh, heated mask, I also treat the patients uh, with oral antibiotics in the form of Augmentin, 500 milligrams twice a day. For about seven to 10 days initially, if it doesn't go away fully, then I do maybe about 14 days initially. And then if it doesn't go away fully, then I use, of course, the mask. Uh, sorry, cut it out. Um, and the mask is obviously used um, long-term if, if the Chalazian ever re um, is recurrent. So the kind of um, mask that I'm going to show you, this is a good one. This is made by PRN Pharmaceuticals. It's a really good mask. I'm going to open it so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the PRN mask. It has these beads in it. You can hear it. That's the beads. And uh, you put this obviously in this mask case. And this is washable, so that's the best part about it and uh, just put this in the microwave and it comes with instructions it's usually about 20 to 30 seconds that you heat it up in the microwave and then it comes with this uh, little strap thing behind it so this goes behind the head the straps and then you put this mask on your eyes and let it do its job so the heat is going to cause vasodilation, it's going to cause the clogged glands to open up. When the meibomian glands open up, then obviously the tears are not going to evaporate as much. That is the mechanism of evaporated dry eyes, by the way, and there are drops for that. There are drops can, that can be used as well, but I have discussed all of that extensively in my other videos on dry eyes. So I'm not gonna to go to that again. This is another kind of mask. You can see the beads on it, right? These are the beads. You put this mask again, it comes with this little strappy thing that goes around your head. And then the compression from this mask, the beaded mask, you see these beads in it. The compression from this mask is going to open up the clogged glands, which are the meibomian glands that come from under the lids. Always remember that. So we need all that therapy um, to, again, take care of the chalazian, take care of the meibomian gland dysfunction. Again, the chalazian is coming from pretty much the same location uh, that I'm talking about as in my Bohemian gland. So take care of um, your eye conditions. These are the masks that I do recommend. They're easily available, readily available over the counter. And uh, now you're not gonna ask me, hey doc, which mask are you talking about? Um, back in the days, people used to use like a, uh, what is it, like a, cloth or um, something that is like like a towel and they put it in warm water squeeze out the excess or even put that um, washcloth kind of a thing um, in the microwave and then um, they use that as well but i don't think it's as effective because uh, these masks uh, come with this strap thing that goes behind the head so it's going to cause the compression with the with the washcloth, I don't think you get that compressive effect as much. And again, also with this kind of a mask, it has this uh, thing, uh, the strap thing, 
and therefore you can cause, uh, you can have enough compression. So we need to squeeze those glands in order for them to function. And uh, that's all about the mask. I hope it gives you a great idea um, about what kind of mask you're going to uh, choose from over the counter. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Okay, you have a good one. Bye.